Hey y'all, Courtney Wines here with Diamonds Are Girls Best Friend, and today I have for you an unboxing of a new to me shop, which is Unimade. Welcome those of you who are new, and welcome those of you who have been around. I love you both, and if you're new, just so you know, this is a diamond painting related channel, and we talk all things diamond painting. So excited to open this up because Muna Made is a shop that I, I have not yet tried, but so many in the community of diamond painting have, and I've heard amazing things. I've just been waiting for the right canvas. Then I missed the right canvas because it was gone, and then as soon as it came back into stock, I hopped on it. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm guessing if you know anything about my channel, you already know the artist that I chose. So it came packaged like this. There's a little thank you note. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it says my name. Courtney, thank you from the bottom of my heart for purchasing from Unimade. It is my wish that your order can bring you even just the slightest bit of joy and happiness today. Enjoy your new goodies. <laughs> That's so fun. And she just had a little baby and I've seen him like crawl across in one of her videos and it just ah, melts my heart. Um, it has also her socials right here on how you can get a hold of them and see what new products are coming out. Guys, she will preview what products are coming out on her diamond painting channel, or sorry, her YouTube channel. So do hop on to that YouTube channel, especially since if there's one that you really want, you really do want to get it quickly because they're gone so fast. She just came out with a bunch of mermaids that are adorable. Okay, so this is, I think this is just the packing slip, yep. Okay, so I wanted to get a square from them, but the painting that I wanted is round, so that means I'll have to get a square from them another time. Which I'm sure if my husband heard that, he is rolling his eyes. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, here's the artwork right here. Yes, I got a Munim, or I mean, I got a cat fedora. Of course I got a cat fedora. I want all the cat fedoras on there. And by the way, I did, I opted out to get their dust cover. So they do come with one where you can get a nice dust cover. They also have it where you can get a Munimade tray. And Munimade is very well known for their trays. Highly sought after. I already have one and I'm not really much of a tray collector so I chose not to get the tray but it does also come with a nice pen and a few other goodies if you choose to add that on. I think it's another like $24 and I honestly, I have to be honest that the price is already kind of high up there so I didn't want to add that to it when I usually don't use many trays. I, I do use the Mini Matrix. It does work really well for multi-placing especially, but I just don't see myself going from trade to trade. But I know a lot of people out there, it's really hard to get a Mini Matrix tray because they go so quickly when they're dropped because you can get them separately. But so their best bet of getting a tray is automatically through getting a diamond painting. So let's pull this out. Ooh, I can already tell it has the nice thick plastic. Yes. Okay. Wow, this is already nice, I can tell, and thick. So I love that it comes with this. I will most certainly be using this in the, what is it called? <laughs> my log book. We keep these ribbons and I use them for my daughter's hair. There we go. Yep, definitely keeping that for my logbook, I love that. It is called Restful Earth. Whoops, I'm not even on camera. It is a 60 by 78, which is fairly large, Courtney. <laughs> I was gonna do the smaller one. This is a nice thick canvas. This is a nice, nice canvas. Nothing on this looks wrinkled, which is very much appreciated. Oh my gosh, this is huge. I need to stop getting such big canvases, but those are the ones I want. Okay, so right here, it looks like this is another thank you for your purchase. This is the instructions on how to do this. That's um, cute but weird, one of the cute but weird, which is the artist of this painting that they've kind of showcased here. I love their stuff, it's really cool. Kind of shows the features, which actually this makes the, the no, unboxing really easily. So they do have returns, so 14 days within receiving it. Um, it does come with, looks like the drill protection where if you do run out of drills, then you can message them about it. I don't know if that includes spilled drills. Maybe one of you guys might know. Um, licensing, so these are legally licensed. 
which means that artists are getting compensated for their work. Rendering, they are hand charted, which is one of the huge things that I've been excited about for Mini Made because I really enjoy hand rendered kits. So our images are hand charted by the designer with minimal confetti. Like, I'm sure that means unnecessary confetti. So reselling, we know these dashes are common where people trade and sell collectible and discontinued art, but we'd kindly ask you not to price gouge. That's kind that should they put this on here. If we suspect that your intent is to purchase and resell at an inflated price, it is out of stock. We will not hesitate to ban you from future purchases from our store. Um, it is poured glue. It is called a silky soft lint canvas, which is interesting. The front really is silky. We'll talk more about that in a bit. Thick plastic cover, thank you. Uh, resin drills, also greatly appreciate. I'm really excited to look at this because it is round and they are claiming resin and sometimes that doesn't always work. So I wanna see if these are actually resin. Not that I don't believe her, I'm sure she's awesome, but I've just noticed there's been a couple of them where they're like, they think they're getting resin and they don't realize that it's actually acrylic, but I'm hearing from a lot of people that they are resin. So I just wanna see it for myself too. pre bag drills, so these are in bags. We'll talk about that pre-cut sticker sheet, which I love. Um, already talked about legally licensing and handwriting. Rendering, slow down court. Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot that they have this, which probably, because this is a sticker sheet. So I'll probably actually use that in my logbook. But this is so cute, I wanna hang on to it. <laughs> so this is the original art, a little bit better of a picture. Has your start date, end date. These are the, kind of the logistics of it. It's round, has the amount of drills, 60 by 78, um, even has a skew right there. And then these are all individually cut stickers. Interesting, not only do they have the long stickers, but they have the small symbol if you choose only to use the symbol, which guys, honestly, that's probably what I'll use. I probably won't even use the DMC. That's pretty cool. That is a really nice, very, very nice touch, extra, and I haven't seen that before. So that's really cool. Um, let's see. Oh, look, the specials are like actually special. <laughs> that's so fun. That makes it easier to find. Okay, let's look at the actual canvas now. I might have to roll this the opposite way. It's so pristine. I'm like afraid to get crumbs or something on it. This is a nice thick canvas, guys. <gasps> love this. Absolutely love, and look how fast it's going down. Also interesting that they did do it this way instead of rolling it the other way around. I do wonder why they chose that. Not that I'm complaining at all. I don't mind it. I don't even know what the difference would be. Do it this way. Well, you can see all that. Let me see, there's a little bit of a glare. Move it over here a bit. A little more centered. And there you have it. Oh my gosh, look at the fox. He's so cute in the polar bear. Oh no, no, are these two different foxes? No, this is the fox. This looks like a, maybe a wolf or something. I don't know. Let me look at the actual art. I think they're just two different foxes. Or maybe like a coyote or something in a fox. All these sleeping animals, and then here's the girl reading her book. I love this, I love cat fedora. I now have two cat fedoras. They're both in rounds, but the other one is from Jade to Jump Shop, so I really need a square one next. So I'm sure I will pick up another Muni Maid here or Jade to Jump Shop with a cat fedora. I am waiting for Jade to Jump Shop. So I am noticing this is really good glue. It's sticky, but maybe not as sticky as I felt on other canvases. No, it's pretty sticky. It's pretty sticky, but I would say maybe even a little bit less sticky, just on first note. That be, could be completely different once I've actually tried it. Yeah, this is beautiful. Let's look at symbol quality, which I... Looks really good. Yeah, very clear. Symbol confusion. Whoa, there are 69 colors in this. But there's not like crazy amount of confetti for that many colors on here. And I don't really see a lot. Um, at first glance, I don't see anything that would be confusing to me. I like that the numbers are numbers. Let's zoom in up here. 
like the numbers correspond with their actual numbers up till eight and that they don't have an S, which makes a big difference, or an E, capital E, which can be confusing with a few different symbols. Okay, that's looking really good. So let's look right here. You can see is the front of the canvas. It is a silk front, a silk finish on the front, and that's really nice. I do wonder how that's going to work with washi tape because I love using washi tape around the edges. I feel like that won't stick very well, but also it's not a, like a deal breaker by any means. In fact, this is just a really, really nice feel to it. And then I can see that has the perforated, not the perforated, poked holes to stop fraying, and then the scalped edging just to give a little bit of a decorated look. Yeah, that is beautiful. Very, very nicely done. Let's check out the drills. Okay, these are so nicely packed in there. I really don't want to take all that out, but you can get a general idea of the color palette just based off of looking at, from, looking at it from here. And all the specials are right here in the front, so we're gonna pull those out. I believe they're all ABs. Let's see, one, two, three. I believe there's just four of them. Oh, pulled out an extra one. And we'll see where those go. I really don't wanna take all those out, but those are gorgeous. I'm gonna pull out maybe like one color to check them out to see. Those are totally resin drills. You can see there's a hole in that one. There's not a lot of trash, but seeing a hole in it does indicate resin over, do you see that hole right there? Over acrylic and wow, look at those facets. Guys, these are really, really nice drills. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get out uh, another color that's not brown. Let me get this green color out. Oh, look how pretty those are. I am so excited for this one. It's ridiculous. Is Muni Made gonna be like one of my new favorite ones now? I think so. Uh, I did wanna point out that this is a kit that is a 2.0 version of her kits. There were some 1.5, I think they've had one version one and then version 1.5 that have come out. And those are usually discounted on her site. And all the new ones coming out, out now are the 2.0s, which I'm not sure what the changes are. Um, I believe one of the things was the glue is a little different. I want to say the plastic is different too, but I'm not entirely sure. So maybe I need to do more research on that. It could very well be that I think that they've moved on to resin from acrylic. Yes, because I was talking to Michaela Renee and she was saying that the drills before were acrylic. So Michaela, if you're watching this, they are now resin which is so awesome. This makes me so happy. Okay, these are the specials. This is the white AB. It looks like a peach AB as well. Let me zoom in again. That always works better. So here's the white AB. These are, it's looking kind of beigey in, through the camera, but it really is more of a peach. i definitely say it's a peach. This is like, yeah, it's looking more lemon yellow in the camera and it's more of just a very bright yellow. And this blue looks like itself. Maybe not as bright. Look at those facets. Guys, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, these I think are the first ABs I've seen with the facets like this in resin besides Diamond Art Club. And I'm trying to think if that's different anywhere else. Yeah, no, these are, I would say that these are comparable to Diamond Art Club rounds, resin rounds in looking at it first glance on facets. These look really, really good. So, at least the most comparable that I've seen so far. Oh, actually, let's see where these specials go. So, these specials go, sorry, I'm making you guys dizzy. The ABs are all at the end, so we can see exactly where they go. The first one is this peach, and it's going to be this symbol right there, that kind of Goofy looking E, I don't know what I'd call that one. So this, you're gonna see a little bit in the fox right here. You're gonna see here uh, in her hand. You're going to see that all over, let me show you up here. 
probably kind of shining the moonlight's making it shine do you guys see up there the e the peach e's that are in here actually it's a little bit hard to see from here i believe this is like the branches of the tree and i love that there are so many different colors that are very light almost pastel muted pastels in a lot of ways so do you see all this ease up here i feel like i still need to zoom in more for you guys to see that yeah yeah now you can see the goofy ease it's probably super blurry because i really am zooming in and then yeah mostly that's where it is up there and in a little bit in the fox and all the way down this tree trunk just having the moonlight highlight that whole area Along here, it's all over in here, here. Um, I would say that's mostly it besides right here and in a little bit in the fox and the nose of this coyote fox thing. Yeah, that looks great. It's beautiful. Very good placement on that. That's moonlight shining through. Okay, and then we're going to also have this lemony yellow AB and that is going to be this dot symbol right here. And I am, there's not a lot of that one. Oh, it's right up here in the moon. So let's zoom into the moon. It's the whole moon is AB's. I'm trying to think if I can see it anywhere else besides the moon. I don't see it anywhere. That's quite a bit for the moon. Okay, there's a little bit over here. Let's come on over here. You see it right here? Kind of in the doorway, kind of the window area right there. You can see it there. I, you know, I can see this being a confusion. Do you see this one right here? Not a huge confusion, but they're both yellow and kind of, no, nah, never mind. That's not confusing. At first glance it was, and then I was like, no. Oh, here we go, here's some more. I was like, there's more yellow than this. So do you guys see right here? In her hair, no, that's not her hair. It's kind of more highlighting some more moonlight coming in around this area of the branches. So that's mostly where the yellow is. I might've missed some spots. Okay. Then let's look at, I love that these are individually bagged already. The next one up is that blue. There really isn't a lot of the blue and I can already see where that is. So this is like that M, goofy M. <laughs> I'm so original. Uh, that is right up there in the stars. And I'm going to imagine that's the only place. Let me see if I see any more before I zoom you in there. I don't see it anywhere else just in those stars but i could be wrong there could be other places but do you guys see right up here i'm actually going to just pull it close ah oh, there's a reason i zoom in you see these stars right here those upside down m's not upside down m's just goofy m's they're they're correct m's <laughs> i don't even know if they're m's but they're all over those stars that's that's what that is and i believe that's probably the only place for it because there really isn't a lot of it and then let's come over here to the last AB, which is the white AB, and it is this minus symbol. And I am seeing that, where do I see it? I've seen a few places. There's also not a lot of that. This one on this one seems a little more random to me, I'm not going to lie. And I will definitely be adding my own specials in this just for fun. I think there's some cool things you can also add to it. I'm always thinking of that now. Okay, I'll show you the one area that I do see it. I do think it's maybe a little bit random, but maybe it's just kind of doing some highlighting. So do you see right here? Kind of in the window way so i can see that if the moonlight's coming through the window you can see some over there Whoop, right there and some up a little bit further up here there and there and that's kind of it for the white abs 
there really isn't a lot of that so there might be a couple other places but i wouldn't imagine much more okay guys that is it for muni made i'm trying to think that i got everything i think i did i i absolutely adore this kit it is beautiful I feel like the last two big kits that I've gotten that are, I suppose, Diamonds on Canvas LLC. It was not a new-to-me company, but it was new-to-me for trying out their bigger canvases and their rounds. Um, I do really appreciate that these are resin. That makes me so, so happy. I will, I already know I will for sure be picking up Muni Made in the future as long as I don't run into any other problems. I really want to try their squares. I really want to see how they fit together and see if they're going to be popping or trash drills or anything like that. I'd be really interested. So, yeah, I'd love to try out their squares sometime. In the meantime, I'm very happy with this kit. And am I sad it's around? No, because these are resin and really haven't seen resin rounds with a lot of other companies. I'm trying to even think right now. Muni Made and Diamond Art Club and i believe the one with the diamond art has resin rounds and who else i want to say calming canvas designs but i'm not entirely sure about that comment below if you know of other ones that have resin rounds because i feel like it's not very common to have the resin rounds and it really is something that not necessarily make or break but like is a huge deal for me to have resin so I'm sure a lot of people are like that as well. Okay, that's it. Let me know if you have purchased from Muni Made before. If you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and put a little fox or a bird or a bear, something like that, or even a moon, something that's in this canvas. I'd love to see it. A little mushroom or a book. Oh my gosh, so much fun stuff. And I just noticed this is fire. That's amazing. That's a little fireplace. I'm so excited for this one. I don't know that I'll kit it up anytime soon because of so many things that I have going on, but it is definitely a new to me shop that I want to actually try out. And yeah, if you happen to, you can get on an email list. I think this is out of stock at the moment, but if you go onto their site and just like Diamond Art Club, you can get on the email list and get it in and get notified when it comes back into stock. They do have other cat fedoras that are in square. Ugh, guys. I can't be bad and go get their squares right now. I don't even know if they're in stock anymore. I want it. I do. I can't. Okay, that's it. Bye. I'll end with a pan over.